Hi guys, welcome to PC Tips Pro. My name is Aditya, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can create a matrimonial website uh, for your business. So basically, in order to create a matrimonial website, you need uh, generally two things. The first is the domain, and the second is the web hosting. So in this video, I will explain that how you can create your matrimonial website on the WordPress platform. So if I talk about the web hosting, you will need a WordPress hosting here. So I have divided this video in three different parts to make you understand properly how to create the website. The first part is to register a domain and the web hosting, which is WordPress hosting. And the second part is to install uh, and uh, configure the WordPress as well as your theme. And the third part is to customize your uh, website. So guys, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please go ahead and do subscribe the channel. So without wasting time, let's proceed further here. So first, we are going to uh, proceed with the first part, which is to register the domain as well as the WordPress hosting. So I will open the Safari browser and uh, we'll go to the Google. And uh, on the Google, I will search for domain racer. So Domain Racer actually it's a web hosting service provider. They're really very good. I personally use them. As you can see, this is domainracer.com. So I will go to this website and uh, will search for web hosting. As you can see, so I will click on this web hosting. Now here, as I explained, as I mentioned before, that you can you need to buy the WordPress hosting. So the thing is, even if you're buying the cPanel hosting, still you can install the WordPress in your cPanel hosting and uh, you can create the website from there. So here I will look for the plans which are available uh, on the Word domain racer uh, in the cPanel hosting. As you can see, when I click on this cPanel hosting, they have different different web hosting available. As you can see, this is the cheapest uh, plan they have available. You can see the basic personal silver and the advanced if you compare these uh, plans which is basic personal silver and advanced uh, personally I would recommend as a web developer I would recommend to go for the advanced because if you see here the basic has a single website but when you talk about to host a single website just for 59 rupees per month that is really a very good deal and you can see you are getting the 1 GB SSD space 10 uh, email uh, IDs which is uh, that means you can create 10 up to your business emails and you can see you are getting the 5 GB bandwidth here but here you can see if I talk about the second plan which is the personal it's costing you uh, $99 sorry I'm sorry 99 rupees per month but here everything is unlimited which is your SSD email uh, bandwidth and even the technology also which is uh, lightweight light speed now here the best thing you can see the unlimited SSD that means uh, it's really very good for your website having unlimited SSD that increase your website speed also and the best thing you are getting the SSD which is always good for your website making to host your website because uh, SSD uh, has a powerful speed it always maintain the file transfer speed very well so yes uh, they are providing the SSD storage for all of uh, in all of the uh, plans which is either you go for the basic personal silver or the advanced but as I said uh, as I'm a web developer I create a lot of the websites so personally I would suggest you to go for the advanced one which is costing you only 249 rupees per month and you can see there is no any limitations the, the thing is you can you can see here you are, you are getting the you can host up to unlimited websites you are getting one dot in domain also that is for free you are getting uh, you know the bandwidth and every even the emails are also for unlimited so yeah this is the best deal for you so here by choosing the plan just select your plan and click on view more and then the second uh, the next part will come up is to uh, search for domain so I would uh, we are going to create a matrimonial website here so I would suggest uh, to use the 
to choose a domain which is relevant to your business to relevant to your website so let's suppose i am i am selecting this domain right my matrimonial right and uh, i'm sorry it's came of the space and then we'll click on this check option so now see if i talk about the extension which you can see there are several extensions available a uh, .com .in xyz and all right so personally i would suggest you to always buy the .com because this is good for seo purpose so as you can see the my metro matrimonial is not available so i will just for an example purpose i'm suggesting you how to choose the domain so i'm just adding one so that i can see whether it's available or not so yes it is available so i'm selecting this domain and we'll click on this continue option and here you can see uh these are the benefits you are getting with the advanced package of the hosting you can see you are getting the unlimited web hosting ssd bandwidth ftp and everything unlimited email also so i will click on this continue option and uh, now here there is a two very important thing the first is coming up dns management and the second is id protection these two things are really very important uh, let me explain you why because ID protection help you to keep your website information private. Let's suppose if you are registering a domain, then anybody can go on the internet and look for the owner of the website, and they can easily find your name, your address, your email, and etc. But let's suppose if you are choosing this ID protection, then your information will be private, and nobody will be able to see your private details. which is associated with your do your domain now second is the dns management it also helps you to increase your website speed so yes i would recommend to uh, choose i mean select these two and we'll click on this continue option now here you can see the pricings uh you can just go ahead and review all the pricings here and click on this checkout option and here just fill out all your information and here create the password Uh, try to create as strong a password as you can and at last click on this order complete order option and uh, you will be able to successfully buy the domain and the hosting so it was the first part now let's move to the second part so make sure guys after uh, registering the domain and the hosting uh, next we will go ahead and set up our cpanel account as well as we will go ahead and install the uh wordpress in the c panel so basically uh, when you will register your uh, domain and the hosting with domain racer so they will send you the credentials to log in into your account right so you can click on this login option and uh, here you can see they will uh, these all are my credentials this is my email and the password and we'll click on this login option and when you will click on this login option at the left side you can see uh, it will show the services which you have got from them So I have got the share hosting which is advanced so I will click on this and uh, will go to my hosting so you can see this is the hosting URL that means I can access my C panel by using this URL so I will go ahead and open this URL here and will enter my URL ID which is the C panel ID and the password and will log in so now you can see this is the interface of my C panel uh once you will log into into c panel just scroll down to the bottom and in the app section you can see there is an option coming up wordpress so click on this wordpress now here you can see when you click on the wordpress it will come up with an option to install so click on this install option now when you click on this install option it will give you and uh, uh it will give option to select the domain where you want to register this wordpress so i already have a by default domain uh from domain racer so i'm selecting the same domain and if i talk about to choose a version of the wordpress leave it as it is then scroll down right and if i talk about you can see here is site name coming up so the site name would be your business name which is i would say just type in here my 
matrimonial right and uh, in the description you can type anything whatever uh, you would like it's up to you guys so this is just an example I'm showing you here now uh, this website is for wedding as I say this is just an example I'm showing you here so after typing uh, your site name and the description uh, you can type here the username and the password so you can create the password which you can remember easily and just for the example purpose I'm keeping username and the password same which is admin and here this this will be your admin email which will help you to log in uh, into your WordPress account and now here you can see uh, the language is coming up which is English so I will leave it as it is and now the next part is coming up show all themes so basically uh, after like you know while installing the uh, WordPress you also need a uh, theme so first of all I will go, go ahead and click on the show all theme and we'll look for the right theme for the matrimonial website so I will search for the same which is matrimonial right uh, I think I'm doing the mistake here spelling mistake so here you can see I can see this theme is good for this matrimonial because there is no any specific theme coming up with the name of matrimonial so I will select this management theme uh, I think it's like an event management theme which we can customize later on and make a, give a look like a matrimonial website so I will select this theme here and uh, we'll click on this install option there are some premium themes also available you can search in the WordPress uh, I mean the theme uh, gallery and you can search for uh, the premium themes uh, uh, see if uh, if you are going to start a matrimonial website of uh, Venus then you should go for the premium one because uh, premium one has a lot lots of the features which you can add and you can give attractive look to your website so as you can see it's uh, installing here it will go to the hundred percent to finish so we will have to wait for till that time you can see it's usually take up to three to four minutes so this is the second part I'm covering guys to install the uh, your WordPress as well as uh, choosing the right theme and installing the theme also now the last part will be to customize your uh, WordPress website that will be uh, I think this is very interesting and uh, easy part also because you don't need a coding skill to customize your WordPress website this is the biggest advantage of the WordPress when you talk about the other programming languages like uh, HTML, CSS, you need the skills. But here, you don't need any technical skills. So now you can see, uh, as, as you can see here, congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Now there are two links coming up. The topmost link will show how your website looks like. So I will click on this link and I will go ahead and see how my theme is looking like as you can see here now this is how it's look like you can see the uh, the site name I given that is coming up here and uh, the title will come up here is a wedding website right and the second link is coming up from where you can customize your uh, WordPress website which is your matrimonial website now here you can see this is the uh, interface where you can see you can see it's coming up customize your website for so the lot of the things you can do with your website you can edit your front page you can add additional additional pages to your website you can if you want to write blog to your uh, website you can do that and uh, here you can see if you want to add any if you want to install any plugin you can do that if you want to change your theme or customize your theme you can click on this appearances and you can do the changing from there here unfortunately I got a call so I'm going to decline this call I'm sorry about that so now here you can see uh, you can if you want to add uh, attract if you want to give attractive look to your website you can use pictures you can add videos to your website by clicking on this media option you can add pages from here also if any of your website visitor is uh, you know commenting on your website then you can reply by uh, clicking on this option 
so this is the customization part where you can click one by one and you can make the changes to your website so guys i believe i have cleared everything in this tutorial but still if you have any query you can write in the comment section and i will be there to answer and guys uh i just said uh please go ahead and do subscribe the channel and uh, i would recommend personally to uh, consider domain racer uh, to buy the domain and the hosting for your website development thank you so much guys